a year after I joined, we moved into a new set of barracks. And uh, I used to do the ironing for uh, one of the seniors. And I, I took it up one time and um, they, he usually just pays me um, a small amount of money to do it. But this time he, um, he grabbed me and threw me on the bed and, um, and, and you know, had oral sex with me and told me that was my payment. And, and there was also someone else in the room, I noticed. Um, and then he, they, he pushed me out of the room and said, you know, when I want my ironing done, you just make sure you bring it. Uh, and that continued. Um, this went on for a fair while. Uh, for a couple of months, I went went to a medical officer and told him that I had problems with my um, my bottom and pains in the stomach, and um, he just said it was like anxiety from my my um, my father, who was a bit of a, a drunken abuser. The second and third time I went back, I told the medical officer what had been happening, that I was being raped, and um, they just kept giving me bottles of Valium. Um, and in, in the end, I mean, the, on the last occasion that I was raped, I went down to the shower and I was washing myself and I suppose I was embarrassed and just ashamed. And at that time I, I decided, you know, like, I'm not going to get away from this, so I went and got a pan, can of Pepsi and I grabbed, I had three bottles of Valium left, so I I remember counting them, there were 72. I took the whole lot to commit suicide because I was happy to go. I mean, there was no way, there was no way I could get out of it.